As you might remember from the introductory video, a Drupal website can look like anything you want. In fact, here are some of the different looks and feels from several Drupal sites. You'll notice that they're completely different. Well, this is based on the theme. Themes can make your Drupal site look like anything they want. So here's a couple of things to remember about themes. Number one, you can get themes from a few different places. There are free themes at drupal.org. These are called contributed themes. You can purchase a theme from a number of different vendors out on the market, or you can create your own with something like Artistier from artistier.com, or you can even build it from scratch. Contributed themes can be found at drupal.org slash project slash themes. A contributed theme can be one of several flavors as well. You can have a very simple contributed theme. You can have a base theme that is designed to have other sub themes placed on top of it. Or you can have starter themes like Bootstrap or Zen. And those require some pretty advanced CSS skills in order to get Drupal to do what you want. But themes are fantastic. Next, block regions are all determined by your theme. And so where you can place blocks on your website is part of the theming process. If you don't have the right region, then it's a theme issue, not a block issue. Well, let's dive into themes a little bit more as we install a contributed theme. 